hello everyone welcome to my channel this is your girl tina parks flawless how was the weekend hope you had a blast i did i did yeah how did it go welcome to my channel please if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so it's just a click on the subscribe button and you're good to go introduce this channel to your friends introduce this channel to your communities to your church to your locality to your well witchers to everybody and together we shall move this institution called marriage to the next level yeah today we're still going to continue on how we can care for our husbands yes this is part two of how we can care for our husbands how do you care for your husband how do you take care of your husband yeah, you have to encourage him to say thank you after eating your food. Yes. Just like we tell him thank you when he gives you money for the food or for the when he gives you money for the upkeep of the house. You have to encourage him to say thank you when he finishes eating your food. Yes, it makes you happy. It makes you feel fulfilled. It makes you feel satisfied. Yes, that he enjoyed the food. And not just the food. When he finishes the other thing, you know what I mean. Encourage him to say thank you. Yeah, I know the men will get me on this, but it is true. You have to tell her thank you because it is her effort that has made you to calm down. It is her effort that has made you to release. If you are not in the same chemistry, I tell you, you will not release. You will just be there struggling. But it's when the woman gives you her cooperation, she gives you all her all, you are able to calm down easily. So you should tell her thank you. And women, do you tell him thank you for having you as his wife? You tell him thank you for enjoying it. Yes. Men will say, ah, uh ah, -uh. when you say thank you again, waiting two of us enjoy together. Yeah, but you know the effort she has put in before you released. So please tell her thank you. Now, women, it's not a, a, a force, so it's a mutual thing. It's not that tomorrow now you say, I think I pass, so you must tell me thank you after eating. No, 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 it's a mutual thing. The two of you will have to agree. Maybe after having sex, you can discuss it, you know, and agree. Yeah, you have to tell you thank you for having me. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Encourage him to say that. So that when you feel it, this one will face it, this one will face it. No. Please. There should be love after love. There should be love after love making. That's why they said, even they said love making is not for making children. Yes, so there should be love after love making. It continues. It's a continuous thing. And you may please encourage your man to travel to his hometown. Please encourage your husband to travel to his hometown. Please, it's necessary. Some of you say, hey, he's not from there. I'm not from his place. And so what am I going to do there? That is even the more reason why you should go there. That is the more reason why you should go there. Go to his village, know his people, know everything about him. Some of you say, we don't have a house there. That is even the more reason why you should go. Go and stay anywhere there. The father has a place, no matter how bad it is. You stay in the family house. It is when your in-laws abuse you and your husband, talk to you anyhow. The next minute you will think of looking for where to build your place, no matter how small. Please encourage him to go home. Encourage him to travel to his place. Go with him. Go with him. Don't be like the woman that her husband died. On the day they carried the corpse home for bed, that was the first day she stepped into that village. And she's been married for 20, 21 years. She never went to her husband's place. Don't be that woman. Your husband will go for me. Your husband will not die. My husband will not die. Her husband will not die. But please, please, encourage him to go home go with him go with him stay in that touch house don't let his father's legacy die don't let that name die i've come to interview so many men why is it that you don't go home and they say eh i don't go home because uh, i don't have a place and even my wife is not encouraging me you see that is what he will tell his people tomorrow you're not encouraging him to go home that's why he's not going home please Encourage your husband to go home. Encourage him to travel to his place. My is from River State. I am from Delta. I'm not from River State. But there's no where 
in rivers, in a creek, but I don't know. Take your children, take your children to the village. Let them know their cousins. Let them know where they are from. Let them know their roots. We are not from Abuja for crying out. We are not. We are not baggy. We are not uh, Gwari or uh, from Lagos State or wherever you are. You have a place. You have a root. Your husband has a root. Of course, you not belong to your husband's place, and so you should make that place your home. You should make that place your home. Go home with him. Go with your children. Let your children know their cousins. For the past eight years, we don't spend X months in Abuja. We, work, we plan towards we work towards it. And my children, they can't even, right now, my children can't even spend Christmas in Abuja. They want to go to a cricket. They want to go home. Because this is where they are from. They don't know where they decide they will know places. So when we we'll go home now, my friend, so when he goes, I say, Time may come back, yo. He say, Mommy, I'm from here. This is my place. I know everywhere here. Yes! So that tomorrow he does not go home, they will tell him, Ah, hey, you go and sit down. What do you know here? He knows everywhere. Let them know their culture. They see their people. See what they wear. They like it. You can't be in Abuja here and know what they, they, they do there. Except to go there. Once in a while, even if your husband is not available, take your children. Go there. Go there. Like I said, the same, my husband couldn't travel home with us because he was very busy in the office. Me, I already planned whether he's there or not. I'm at home with my children. So, Krika. All of us. He couldn't drive us. So we all went by air. Myself and my three children, we were at home. We spent Xmas, we spent New Year. In fact, we felt at home. Everybody, everybody, they look forward to seeing us in the village. They look forward to seeing us come home for Xmas. For my children will meet their cousins, they will go out with their cousins, they, you know, even understand the language, speak the, the dialect. Please, take your children home. Take your, encourage your husband to go home. Let your children know their culture. Let them know where they are from. Let them know what they do. Muslims place their culture is a tie wrapper. The men tie wrapper, you know. So when my children were growing up, I tried tie wrapper. They are mommy, why now we men? I can men tie wrapper. So that's what their culture. You see people do it. So when we started going home, they, they you know, there's some young guys like them tie wrapper to church, you know, with pride. Now my children on their own, the boys. You see them, they can tie their wrapper, wear their native wear, wear their shoes, and you know, they do it with pride. They do it with pride. I don't need to tell them this is what you're going to wear. We have any occasion or we get home on New Year Day, then everybody will come out in your best wear. The men will tie their best wrapper, wear their best. You don't need to tell my children, they already know what they're going to wear. In fact, it's a way for them to even showcase their, their, their shoes because they buy expensive shoes. It's a way for them to showcase, show, showcase it. So let your children know their culture. Let them know where they are from. And they cannot do that while you are in the city. You have to go to the village for them to know all this. Please. Some people will be here. They will build their mansion here. They will do everything here. When their children want to get married, they will do it in Abuja here. Then how do your husband, I mean your in-law, assuming your daughter wants to get married, doing it in Abuja here, how would he know the families? How? As it is now, my daughter is old enough to get married. Of course, we are moving to Krika. Everybody knows. What, 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 what will I be doing here? I told my husband, as soon as you retire and I retire, we are going to the village. What will I be doing in Abuja? I will go to the village, go and eat fresh fish, eat fresh uh, seafood, everything fresh. Yes. Please. Encourage your husband to go to the village. Encourage, encourage him to go to his hometown. He must go. Let him keep his father's legacy on. Don't be a, 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 a blocking. Uh, don't block him from going home, from going to know his people. Don't say his mother is not alive. His father is not alive. Does he not have uncles? Does he not have aunties? Why can't he relate with them? If he's a tad, he doesn't like doing that. You encourage him. You encourage him. I was one day pushing my husband. We must go home. We must go. We started going home. Initially, we didn't have a place. We were fetching from one place to the other. And gradually, he saw the need for us to put up a place. And gradually, 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 we have a place. Men don't like doing most things. But you are, that's why you are his support. You are his uh, life wire. 
You are there to encourage him. You are there to make him do some of these things. Please. Your mother is no is alive. Let him go home. By the way, how do you treat your mother in law? Anyway, that is a topic for another day. We are going to treat that because I know most women are so terrible. We are going to discuss how you treat your mother in law. So please encourage your man to go home. And for crying out loud, please support him. Support him. That's why the Bible says you are his helpmate. You are his helpmate. You are there to support him. Support him. Surprise him once in a while. The house rent is due. The husband does not have the money. Even if he has the money and you are working, you have the money. Pay. Pay. The man will be like, wow. Sometimes pay the children's school fees. Whether he has it or not, go ahead and pay. But then when he's about to pay, then ah, I've already settled that. The man will be like, wow. Yes. Sometimes there's no food at home and you have the money. Buy stock the house with food. I have a man, the same man that told me that he cannot invite his friends to the house. He's the same man that told me that the wife is working, but her ten naira, she will never buy anything except he buys. Up to the point, salt. If there is no salt in the house and he's not around, he's traveled, she will wait for him to come back to buy the salt. If there's no gary at home, the children and it's not around his travel, the children will not eat Gary until he comes back. And I said, What? And she's walking. It took me time before I was I was able to, to bring that family together. And today they are enjoying it. Today they are enjoying it. Why do you keep your money? And he says for me, it's for me, me, myself, and I alone. It's not for you, you're you or yourself and your I and your I alone. It is for the family. Even when your man has do it. Let him know that you too you can do. Do it. I surprise my husband a lot. It's not as if he doesn't have the, the money. But I just surprise him. And that's why when he hide, hides, he does not hide anything from me. He does not, he, 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 he just open the list. Just try it. And you see that the man will begin to give you open check. Open check. You are the one to, even, to put a man to want. Surprise him. The school fee is too much. Yes, you have the money. Surprise him. Go and pay. Once in a while. You're not living in your house and your house rent is due. Even if your husband has the money, go and pay. Move the landlord and pay. The man will be like, wow. Yes. That's why you are there for him. Support him. Support him in any way you can. Support him. Assist him. Assist him. If you're working, even if you're not working, look for something to do so that you can support your husband. You can imagine a woman, if there's no salt in the house, she waits for her husband to come back. That means she will not cook. Or she will just be putting only maggi in her food. What do we call that? Is it wickedness? Are you competing with him? Are you competing with him? Marriage is not competition. And that's why people say, people come to say, ah, no marriage is perfect. No marriage is perfect. No marriage is perfect. Yes, no marriage, but your own can be perfect. Because they say no marriage is perfect, doesn't mean your own cannot be perfect. If theirs is not perfect, mine is perfect. That is all philosophy. That is all a school of thought. They keep telling people that no marriage is perfect. Who says? You can make your own perfect. Yes, you can. If you are determined. So please, please encourage your husband to go to church, midweek service. There are some women, it's only on Sunday, so it's only on Sunday, their husband go, go to church. Don't you have Bible study during the week? Don't you have a midweek service during the week? Why will it be at home? Some, some people will just that day, they just carry their children. Well, let's go to church when the husband is at home. Some husband, because they know they don't want to go for Sunday service, they will remain in the office. Tell the wife, I'm where I'm coming, you know, hey, this one, no, they will not go. So you on Sunday, you see them in church. Why? Women, I should ask you that question. For you to have a perfect marriage lies in your hands. For you to make your husband move for you lies in your hands. So it is your duty. 
encourage him to attend midweek service. That's why I said, call him sweet names. Hayes, Donnie, sweetheart, darling, sugar, whatever. You want to say, ah, no, today is Bible study. Let us go. We we'll just follow you. We we'll just follow you. My own, my own case. <laughs> I don't know. My husband is even the one that is more committed to midweek service than, 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 than me. He's more committed. You see that I've done my homework very well. Yes, you see that I've done my homework very well. He's the one that will drag me. Oh yeah, church. He's the one that ain't that I don't go to church. Hey, it's like that day God visited the church. You see, I've done my homework very well. So please, encourage your husband to do these things. Encourage him. Don't come and tell me my husband and Jesus. What are you doing? What are you doing? And though as we grow and with the Spirit of God, our eyes will keep opening for us to see why we are in that marriage, for us to see why things are happening the way it is happening. We grow every day. We grow every day and we learn every day. So please, please, women, please encourage your husband to do these things. See that you will have that marriage and that happy marriage and that perfect marriage that people say there is no perfect marriage. You will see, you will have it. You will have it. Encourage him. It's not by force. You know, that's why I say when you continue to call him all those names, surprise him once in a while, I will be so open to you. He will not hide anything from you. He will not. Don't you see women that, uh, that have been married for years? They don't have children. Some of them, the husband cannot go outside. Why? Because of the way the woman treats him. Because she knows because she continues to do gra gra, the man will go outside. She will be beating the man, doing all kind of things. The man will remain. The same thing with uh, with uh, women, uh, with uh, girls who don't have uh, a male child. You see the way they pet the man, so that the man will remain. Why don't you do the same? When you have both, or you have uh, a child, you have uh, uh, children, or you have uh, uh, both sex, uh, male and female. Pamper him so that he will remain at home for you. These are the things that side chicks do, and the, our men run to them. You have to do your homework very well, woman. Please do your homework. Stop competing with the man. You know, it's not a competition. Marriage is not a competition, it's a move to add thing. Something two of you will agree. So please, I'll come your way again next time with another powerful topic. Remember, we're also going to be praying for our women, the women that are pregnant and the ones expecting God for the fruit of the womb. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, King of Glory, that we bless you, glorify your name because there is no like you. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the God that faded not, the God that changed not, our Father, we exalt you this morning. Oh Lord God, I lift up, oh Lord, all the pregnant women before you, that the Lord, you know them. That the Lord, you know them. Oh my God, King of Glory, the babies will grow, oh Lord, to your wit and glory in the name of Jesus. There will not be any miscarriage. None of them will have miscarriage in the name of Jesus. They will carry their pregnancies for nine months. They will deliver like the Hebrew women, even more than the Hebrew women in the name of Jesus. And I, our Father, has made that I expect you for the fruit of the womb, oh Lord, that the Lord hear their cry. That they hear their cry, that they will be carrying their babies in no time in the name of Jesus. That they tarry give them their laughter in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Be that we exalted in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. So, see you again tomorrow with another powerful topic. Stay tuned and remain blessed. Bye.